afternoon, prospectors. Keith and Winter Prospect in the Northwest. We are here at Eagle City. I've been working for about a week getting the claim ready. You can see we've done a little bit of digging. I removed a ton of overburden off of this area. We've pulled all the mud and everything off of our back area back here where we've been working the bedrock. Wind's about ready to start working the stuff as it is starting to dry out finally. And if your Garrett's here doing some mining, his second time out, really first time mining, and his first time digging, he actually found two pieces of visible, visible gold. I don't know if you can see those real well, but there's a nugget in there and a little picker. Kind of muddy, but yep, there they are. But yeah, so awesome. Those were just found when we were digging. Visible gold picked it off the bed, off the off the dirt. So hopefully, where we're digging is really good. You can see the buckets back here are all set up and ready to go. Raptors ready to go. And remember, a couple years ago, I did a video of where there is no gold. That was this area right here that we're kind of backfilling, but it was really slanted and really smooth. But then it came to this bedrock right here with this hump. In the back of that little hole back there. And that's where we just found that little nugget and that little picker. It was back in this little hole back here that we're going to start chasing. It looks like it heads in that direction. Um, I did a quick video yesterday where they brought this log down on my um, tablet. I don't know if it's turned out or not because the GoPro didn't have any power. But the guys next to me has been busting it, man. They have tearing it up, torn it up this year. But they got the stump almost out. They should find some gold under there. And like I said, our buckets are lined up and ready to go. It is really smoky out here at Eagle City right now. There's a fire about five miles away. Today's the first day the helos haven't been flying all day dumping water, so that's probably a good sign. But it's super, super smoky. You can hardly see anything. Normally I show you that mountain over there for snow and stuff like that, and you can't even see it. But there are people mining out here. There are people doing their thing. The water's still semi up. But like I said, it's it's hot and it's smoky. We're gonna start running some dirt. And we'll show you what we find. It should be a nice clean out this time. Good morning, prospectors. Keith and Winter prospecting in the Northwest. Yeah, so we're finally gold mining. This has been the strangest year ever. It is like almost August. It's July 30. First, yep. yep. Um, we were supposed to go to California this year. That didn't happen because our truck broke down. So we're going to do that in the fall. We were supposed to have gone to Montana. That didn't happen because a buddy's truck broke down. And then we're at Eagle City. Where's our backup plan? And this is the month where we can be dredging up at our claim at Dudley. However, I'm just going to kind of pan around here and let you see all the smoke out there and we are in the pacific northwest and if you're watching the news in 2021 you know the pacific northwest is pretty much on fire and we have a fire just over you can't see through the trees here but just over the ridge over there called the pritchard fire and it's been burning for about a month now and they did it we had to evacuate out of here because we weren't sure if they're going to be able to knock it down and the firefighters did an incredible job and put up a line around it and got the most of the hot spots under control and they took the evacuation notice down so we got to come back in yesterday um so yeah we're mining um before we got kicked out of here my nephew and i came up here and did some work and found some nice gold did not have the gopro but we did take a picture of it so i will show it here, 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 or somewhere. And we'll throw some videos out. Um, Wynn came back and she's doing some backup work before she lets me back in there. She had a target, so she um, wants to do some work there. So, but I'll get back in there. You can see I have some buckets going over here. Um, and I'll start working those. And then where we were digging last year, she's been working the bedrock. So if you watch some of my other videos, you know we love to clean our bedrock. And so she's been cleaning bedrock. So look at that nice, pretty clean bedrock. There's still a few seams in there that she wants to work on, like I think that guy right down there. 
But yeah, so she's been cleaning the bedrock like she does. So nice, pretty bedrock. Um, she's been metal detecting back here yesterday. She found three little pickers. I'll post them down in here again somewhere. Um, so, yeah, we're going to keep working. It's Saturday morning. It's supposed to be this a mere 103 degrees today. So, we'll work in the morning for a while until it gets too hot out here. And then we'll probably go take a break and hang out in the AC. And then we'll come back this afternoon and continue working. I don't know if I'll get enough buckets to run today or if I'll run tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. This is hard dirt and I, I have my generator with me, but I haven't brought it back down here yet. So we'll see. All right, we'll talk to you later. You guys have a great one. You can see there's all kinds of areas set up. Not a whole lot of people here. You can hear her target back there pinging on her. So she thinks she has a nuggie or something, so I'm going to let her keep digging. Okay, Talk to you later. just told wow. me she found another little piece of gold, so I'm going to go back here and see what's going on. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice little piece. Look at that. Sweet. It's pretty thick. Yeah, pretty thick. Probably 0.6. I guess. I don't know, maybe point two. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, prospectors. I have all my buckets ready to go. The rafters going. I cleaned up the bedrock pretty well over here. Wind's gonna come back and continue cleaning while I'm running dirt. But it's pretty good. I cut off that old log there, so I stopped taking my head on it. See, I have quite a few buckets here to run. Probably going to take me three, four hours. Have the rafter going. And I'm ready to start moving some dirt. All right, so I'll catch you guys later.
Well, prospectors, I was totally wrong in my assumption that we were good to go with the fire. Like I showed you earlier in the video, we had a lot of smoke in the area. And I mentioned the Pritchard fire, which was to the northwest of us that they got under control. Well, the fire you're looking at now is the Deceitful Fire, or Complex Fire. It was about five miles away from us over on the other side of the Pritchard store. And it had to cross a ridge, a stream, a major road, two more ridges, and another stream to get to us. Well, the winds picked up, and within six hours, it moved five miles, and it came across the ridge there looking down onto Eagle City, and we had to do a rapid evacuation. So we got to be in there for about one weekend between the Pritchard Fire and uh, they called it the Deceitful Complex Fire, and then we got kicked out again. We did find some awesome gold during that weekend, or it might have been two weekends, I'm not sure. But yeah, that fire was ugly and nasty. And luckily at that ridge there, it started coming down the ridge towards Eagle City, and luckily the winds changed just at the right time and sent it down the road and along Pritchard's Creek. And there were also about 300 firefighters that you can't see in this picture that were lined up on the road there. This video was done by, I'm not sure if it was Cowboy Jim or Bob at the camp. One of the two did it. I, I can't remember which video I picked up here. So yeah, that fire pretty much circled the entire camp. It kicked us out of there for about three, four weeks while the firefighters fought it. They did a great job. Thank you to the firefighters for saving the historical Eagle City and saving all the houses in the area. Nobody lost a house. I think a few outbuildings were lost, but that was about it. So they did a great job, and we want to thank them for that. So any of you firefighters that are watching this video, thumbs up and thank you again. And you can see just how big that fire was and just how massive it was. And we weren't really even that dry at Eagle City. And you can see it's pretty green there. The forest is pretty green, but it was just a incredible fire. But it was also 100 degrees out, and it was it was you know the air was dry, and there was a lot of undergrowth that it could have it was burning on. But like I said, everyone made it out safe. We made it back in a few weeks later. Did a little bit more mining. Um, here's some pics of the gold we found. My nephew Garrett was with us. He found some nice gold. We didn't get it weighed up, unfortunately, but it came out to about 10 grams altogether when we added it all up. So it was a great, I think, two weekends. This was all combined between the two. But, yeah, really awesome. So thanks for watching. Hopefully we can get a few more videos out for you. We have some from California and Oregon that we did, and I think I just put one out a week ago, our trip to Stanton. You all stay safe out there, and you all take care. Bye now.